Hello! In this video, I will be demonstrating the Polynomial Root Finder and Simultaneous Equation Solver app on the TI-84 Plus graphing calculator. I will demonstrate it first for the TI-84 Plus CE and then again for the TI-84 Plus. Let's start by pressing the Apps key on your TI-84 Plus. You are looking for the app called PLY SMLT2. If you do not see it in your list of apps, you can download it from the TI website. I have a video on my YouTube channel and I will include a link in this video's description. I will select the app and I see in the main menu number one polynomial root finder. I will select number one polynomial root finder. At the top it reads poly root finder mode. You can set up the mode setting for your root finder. For my first example, taken from January 2018's Algebra 1 New York State Math Regents exam, determine all the zeros of m of x equals x squared minus 4x plus 3. My order is 2 and nothing else needs to be changed so I'll select next which is associated with the graph key and now I can put in my values. So I'll have 1x squared when I press the right arrow it takes me to my sign. In my problem it is a minus sign. Right arrow again 4 enter plus sign is fine I'll press enter again 3. When I press enter it now mirrors what I had in the problem. Solve is associated with the graph button. And I now see my solutions 1 and 3. I notice at the bottom of the screen there are five options. Those five options align with the top five graphing keys. Main will take you to the main menu for the app. Mode will allow you to change the settings for your app. Coefficients allow you to change the values you typed in. Store is very interesting. If I press store, I can store my coefficients to a list, but really cool, store the polynomial that you typed in to y equals. If you want to see the connection between this solution and the graph of it, this is a really cool feature. I'll quit out of here and f to d, d to f, fractions to decimals, decimals to fractions. If your solution had a fraction or a decimal, this would allow you to convert between the two. Let's now look at example two from the June 2018 Algebra 1 New York State Math Regents exam. The zeros of the function p of x equals x squared minus 2x minus 24 are, so I would select coefficients, the third one over, which is zoom, and I would have 1x squared, the sign is still minus, I'll change the 4 to a 2, press enter. I now have a minus in this position, and it is minus 24. When I press enter, it now mirrors what I have in the problem, and I'll select solve, which is the graph button, and I get the solutions of x1 being negative 4, and x2 being 6. Let's go ahead and use this store feature. Store is the trace button, and I will store this polynomial to my y equals. I'll select it, and it says polynomial stored to y1. I'll select the y equals, which is quit. I'll press y equals again to take me to the main menu, and I will quit the app. Now when I go to y equals, I see my equation typed in. If I change my window so that my y minimum is at least negative 26 and now graph it, I can see that negative 4 there is an x-intercept and at positive 6 there is an x-intercept to connect those zeros with the equation. Let's quit out of our graph. Let's go back to the apps key and select our app. Let's now look at the simultaneous equation solver feature from the January 2020 Algebra 1 New York State Math Regents exam. 
Question 20. Which system of equations has the same solutions as the system below? So students were given a system of equations to solve, and they could possibly have to solve four additional system of equations just to get this question on the New York State exam. I will select number two from the main menu. Number of equations is two. Number of unknowns is two. None of these other mode settings need to be changed. So I'll select next, which is the graph key. And here is where you enter in your values. Three, enter. Minus sign, enter. One, enter. Seven enter. 2 plus sign 3 12. Enter. I'll now select solve which is associated with graph and I see my solution is x equals 3, y equals 2. If I go to system which is the middle button, zoom, I can go right back and enter in any one of the four multiple choice answers to see if it has the same solution. Let's now look at example four. It is taken from the January 2020 Algebra II New York State Math Regents exam. Question 18. Consider the system below. This system has three equations with three unknowns. We would be best suited to go to the mode key and change the number of equations to 3 and the number of unknowns to 3. Then we can press next which is associated with graph. I will now enter in the coefficients from my system. 1, enter, the sign is still plus. 1, enter, the sign is still plus. 1, enter, 9. For the second equation it is 1, minus 1, minus 1, and negative 1. And for the third and final equation, 1, minus 1, plus 1, equals 21. When you have all three equations entered in, Go ahead and press solve, which is the graph button. Our solution is x equals 4, y equals negative 6, and z equals 11. We do not see a negative 8 as one of those solutions, so that would be answer 1. Let's go back to the main menu, which is associated with the y equals. And you see 3 through 6 about help for the polynomial root finder, help for the simultaneous equation solver, and number six, quit app. I'm going to choose number six, quit app. I will now change my model over to the TI-84+. Plus. I'll press the apps key. I do not see the PolySimult app, but if I press the green apps key and find the green letter P, I jump right to that section in the apps and I will select the PolySimult. Press any key to continue. The menu looks very similar to that of the menu looks very similar to that of the TI 84 plus CE. If I select number one, polynomial root finder, here is the root finder mode setting. Degree two, everything else seems to be in order. I select next, which is graph. Here is where it looks a little bit different. So if I go back to example 1 and put in 1, enter, negative 4, enter, 3, enter, I can now press solve, which is still associated with graph, and I see my solutions x1 equals 3, x2 equals 1. I'll go back to the main menu. I'll select number two, simultaneous equation solver. So far, it looks identical to that of the 84 plus CE. I'll use example three, two equations, two unknowns. I'll select next. And now I put in the coefficients, 
So three, enter, negative one, enter, seven, enter, two, enter, three, enter, 12, enter. When I press graph, which is associated with solve, it will solve my system of equations, x1 equals 3, x2 equals 2.